What is going on guys, Castell Ray here, and today we're going to be talking about a potential brand new announcement from Sony early in 2021. We're talking about the A9X or the A9 III, the third generation of A9 cameras. However, Sony Alpha Rumor has posted some information and it seems that this camera may be a complete new line altogether. We're going to talk about that coming right up. Welcome back to the channel guys, Gaston right here. And before we jump into this video, let me show you what I have right in my hands. This is a brand new Sony a7C and it is a camera that you can win by simply subscribing to this channel right now. Enable those notifications and go follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Gaston Shutters. I'll be making the announcement of the brand new Sony a7C on Christmas. So good luck to all of you guys. So let's jump in right into this news because Sony is about to be announcing a brand new camera and a lot of us are calling this camera the A9X or the A9 III, the third generation of the A9. However, Sony Alpha Rumor posted some information apparently being uh, shared by some of their sources stating that this camera is going to have a couple of different things from the A9s. Now let's talk the number one is going to be the price. This camera is being rumored to be at around $5,000. So this is gonna be a lot more than the uh, A9 currently. Now, the other thing that they have actually confirmed is that this camera is going to have a 50 megapixel sensor. Now, the Sony A9 has a 24 megapixel sensor, and I think that this sensor, the 24 of the uh, current A9 and A9 II, is what allow the camera to have great low light performance, great dynamic range, uh, also great uh, rolling shutter performance, and uh, you know very low noise and all that stuff. Now, however, at 50 megapixel, we may actually see a little bit of this low light performance being affected by those pixels being smaller, you know, and this is the case. And now I own the A9 I, and that camera, I have to admit, has great image quality right off the gate. Now, the other thing is that this camera may also film at 8K 30p. So once again, this camera is basically going to be the only 8K camera in the full frame uh, format that Sony has to offer. But however, Sony just introduced the Sony A7S III. So here we have a brand new version of a camera that was a 24 megapixel journalism uh, camera, sport photography camera, wedding photography camera, a camera that was intended to be a fast, you know, shooting camera. And here we have a camera with a 50 megapixel AK 30P. Now, a couple of the things are coming to my head right now. At 50 megapixel, this camera sits more in line with the A7R4, which has 61 megapixel, not with the A9. Also, at 8K 30P, this camera kind of like surpasses the A7S3. However, there may be a caveat because Sony Alpha Rumor is stating that this camera is going to have an 8K in its infant uh, mode, meaning that probably we're not going to see 60p, we're not going to see 120 frames per second, and probably we're not even going to see more than maybe five minutes in 8K video. And here's the thing, you know, if this camera is going to be the third generation of an A9, chances are that Sony's going to want to keep the same body style. And if this camera is going to record more than five minutes or 10 minutes, the camera is going to start producing a lot of heat. Now, the Sony a7S III does heat up a little bit, but the camera never, you know, shuts off or anything. And I've been shooting with that camera, you know, pretty much a lot almost every week shooting with that camera it gets warm but it never gives you the uh the warning the overheat warning now at 8k 30p that camera is going to build up some insane heat that's going to have to be mitigated and i don't think the passive cooling is going to be a solution for 8k video recording so we may have a camera that is going to shoot 8k video and on top of that it's going to shoot 8k but only a couple of minutes now think about this because if you today have five thousand dollars and you're trying to buy a camera well number one this camera is not well defined because it's not a photography camera or it's not a video camera it's kind of like a little bit of everything and i put into perspective that this could be actually like a sony a7 III on super steroids with you know high resolution and high video resolution as well but once again this is nowhere uh where the a9 line sits right now you know a fast camera that also has a super fast buffer 
Now, one of the things for sure we're gonna see on this camera is the CF Express Type A car that is also compatible with SD cars. And I gotta mention this because this camera is gonna need a lot of internal capacity to record. Now, the only thing is that CF Express Type A cars, they cap at 160 gigabytes. And I was shooting a lot with the Sony A7S III and I actually filled up my 80 gigs car in just maybe five minutes shooting 4K at 120 frames per second. So this is the reason why I don't know if to trust the rumor or if Sony is just creating a brand new camera altogether that is going to be kind of like the A7C was, a new line in the uh, camera lines of Sony. And maybe they're gonna call it, I don't know, the A9R, you know, just creating a brand new uh, high resolution also video camera and i know that a lot of people are saying that a couple of the things that they don't like about the sony a7s3 is that the camera only caps at 12 frames per second i have to agree with that but that camera is a video camera first and by the way it can shoot some photography so maybe sony is going for this super high-end camera that it can do both things super high-end and you know that would be a nice addition but i don't think this camera should be considered as an a9 third generation now i know that a lot of people are still waiting for the a7 IV and in my opinion that is the camera that requires a little bit more attention because it's the money maker for sony so i get where this camera is going you know they're trying to engineer a camera that can directly compete with canon and the r5 has 45 megapixel this one's gonna have 50 the r5 does 8k this one is gonna do 8k but the r5 overheats and this one is claiming that it's not going to overheat but again i think this is going to come with a very short amount of time in ak video unless you know sony decides to do a brand new camera change the body put a fan there once again it's not going to be an a9 third generation so let me know what you guys think drop your comments down below and as always guys subscribe to this channel for more content like this one i'll see you in the next video